Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So I'm making a video of the Tundra for, for a couple of reasons today. For starters, you may already notice, but I'm testing out a different camera setup. And I hope you get, you're get you unable to tell, but it is actually very windy. Very windy, actually windier than normal at the moment. But uh, a part of this camera setup is a, a new microphone. So a separate, you know, attachable microphone with that wind guard on it. So I really hope that it's coming together a lot better than what you guys are used to hearing from me. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Obviously I won't upload it if, if the audio is garbage. So I wanted to talk about probably your guys' favorite topic with this truck, and that is the, the tire setup. So again, I know many of you are already tracking at this point, but uh, the questions that I receive the most are, hey, tell me about your tires, what kind of tires are they, and what size are they, and all that stuff. So let's quickly go through it. So these are, these are Nitto Ridge Grapplers. The size are 295-70-18s. And for the folks watching this video, you guys are probably well familiar with this truck. These are actually the stock uh, TRD Pro wheels, 18 inch wheels that come on, on the Pro. Uh, so I'm personally a huge fan of them. Admittedly, I was going to, I was really close to paying uh, just like a private seller. He was selling his set of uh, Rockstar rims, Rockstar wheels, um, and they had some used KO2s on them. So when I first started, I was just going to go try to get some KO2s. I was going to trade in the, the stock Michelin tires that came on this truck and I was going to try to just get KO2s. Then I kind of poked around online, I saw that guy selling them just, just down the, maybe a couple hours away from me. Um, and it was going to be, I think it was just under $2,000, all the 1800 I think is what it was going to be for me. So they're like 2,000 miles on the KO2s and a you know, brand new 19 inch um, Rockstar wheels. So I was going to do that, but after really thinking about it, you know, I am a huge fan of these TRD Pro wheels. So I figured, you know what, let's just, let's just get the tires and and it worked out really well. So I started doing homework between KO2s and these guys here. So these are the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, like I mentioned. People are kind of indifferent on them. So both of them have awesome reviews. You're not gonna hear anybody say anything bad about KO2s after everything I read through them. Um, everybody loves them, but then again, everybody appears to love these wheels or these tires as well. So I'll get a little close to look for you. So Nitto Ridge Grapplers. I'll give you a, a close look at the tread tread pattern here. And they have been perfect. So I've only had an opportunity to use them in snow so far. So like no off-roading admittedly yet. Um, so I haven't gotten into the trails or into the mountains. So I can't give you that honest picture yet. However, when I do do that, uh, of course, share that experience with you guys. Um, they handle the snow very well, extremely well. So I'm beyond impressed with them in that regard. I did have, I had one day, um, one day with the, the stock Michelins that came on it from factory uh, in the snow. It wasn't a bad snow, but enough to kind of get a feel uh, for what it would actually be like. And they were okay, but I did notice some slipping. Um, and by comparison of these, these were substantially better. So just wanted to share that with you. Um, beyond that though, the next question in line would be, hey, what, what modifications did you have to do to actually make it fit? And I did not have to do anything. So I didn't have to do a leveling kit, didn't need to do a, um, a lift kit or uh, spacers. However, I, th uh, I, did, I lied. So I had to remove the uh, little splash guard that goes down about, about, to, about to here. If you can see me just a few inches down. So I removed that and that took not, not even five minutes to do on each of the sides. They're super easy. Close to look at the Fox suspension here. It feels great. So yeah, I mean, no rubbing at all. I've done the, um, I've done a full U-turn hard, you know, maximum turn U-turn uh, a few times now while on the throttle and no rubbing or, or, or grinding or anything goofy like that. Show you the back tire here. So I really like how it shaped the stance of the truck. It you know, it just made a look, like I said in my other video, it made a look the way it should have been from stock or from factory, in my opinion. 
So I really hope you guys aren't picking up this wind because it is pretty bad. All right, I'll give you a kind of a side profile here, which I think looks great. So, as you can see, pretty flush. Pretty flush all the way down. Definitely happy with how it turned out. I don't know if I ever showed you guys these too, by the way. The Rigid Industry fog lights, LED fog lights. They're awesome. Um, on the inside, I'll try to show you real quick too before we wrap this up. I really love the sidewall pattern on these grapplers. That was a large part of what actually drove me to actually getting them over the KO2s. So I like that a lot. You can also use the, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you too well. Yeah, it may not come out too well, guys, sorry. I'm trying to show you. So you can kind of see the, the inner wall. It's just more blocked off. So it's a different design on the side. It looks good too, but I just preferred these. So there you have it. Just wanted to give you guys a closer look at them. And of course, if you guys have further questions, I'm happy to share. Um, definitely very impressed with them, and I think you guys will be too uh, if you were to get them. So as always, appreciate you watching. Until next time.